Meanwhile, in South Jersey, a shortage of physicians is to blame for the official end of maternity services at Cape Regional Medical Center. Now expectant moms in the area could have to drive as far as 40 minutes away for their obstetric care. As Melissa Rose Cooper reports, local health providers are hoping to fill the gap. Knowing that there was more for me um, was great to know, and I didn't have that um, prior knowledge before. I didn't have that. I didn't have the um, accessibility. Tila Grayson just welcomed her third baby into the world. Even though becoming a mom wasn't new, this was the first time Grayson learned she had a voice in her care. You just think, okay, I have to do what the doctor says. No, you can request things if you want certain things done for yourself or you don't want certain things done at appointments. You can speak and be an advocate for for yourself, which I did not know, you know, you, you listen to your doctor because that's what you, well, that's what I thought that I was supposed to do. And I didn't know that I can be an advocate for myself. I can speak up for myself. But thanks to a new program at Atlantic Care known as Safe Beginnings, Grayson and dozens of other women living in Atlantic City are receiving more options for maternal care. Created through a partnership with the Casino Reinvestment Development Authority and Nurture NJ, the goal is to address infant and maternal mortality in the city. We learned that about 450 Atlantic City moms annually deliver um, and that 25% of their babies wind up in our neonatal intensive care unit. We have the region's only level three NICU, so pretty sick babies wind up there. So the question was why? Why are our babies winding up in the NICU? Well, we learned a few things. Um, one of the things we learned is that many of those moms, about 30, 35%, had little or no prenatal care. One of the barriers to accessing care linked to a decline in doctors. According to a 2019 report from the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, a shortage of up to 22,000 OBGYNs is expected by 2050. Our program has nurses. We have certified community doulas. We have a midwife. We have a recovery specialist because we know many of our moms need that service. Atlantic Care becoming even more of a resource for women in South Jersey since Cape Regional Medical Center, Cape May County's only hospital, ended maternal and obstetric care earlier this month due to lack of obstetrical physician coverage. Cape Regional noting plans to work with Atlantic Care and Shore Medical Center to get displaced patients the services they need. A spokesperson for Shore Medical confirming its commitment to helping mothers and babies saying, we have also been working closely with the team at Cape Regional to ensure that those looking to start or expand their families can do so at Shore. But for those living in Cape May County, the distance between home and these other facilities presents another barrier. One of the biggest issues that we find, we've supported many different kinds of assessments across the region and particularly down in the shore communities, the largest burden that our families face is transportation. Helen Hannigan is the executive director of the Southern New Jersey Perinatal Cooperative, which works with hospitals and communities to improve maternal care. She says while there are some concerns with maternal and obstetric care ending at Cape Regional, the hospital was only averaging less than one birth a day. We saw that and have looked over the years that many women from Cape May are already not delivering in Cape May County, right? They've already selected and created relationships with providers that will support their care at Shore Memorial or Atlantic Care, or even at some of the other institutions across the region. So Hannigan says it's even more important to make sure maternal resources are made available. Grayson knows firsthand the impact it can make. Knowing that I can call at any time when different things are happening, that never happened to my body before because I was younger when I had my other two children. It definitely, definitely helped. It definitely helped just knowing I had that support system. A support system that's life-changing for this mom of three and her family. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper. Support for the Medical Report is provided by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association.